Payoff pitch, swing and a drive deep to right, down the line, and there it goes. Daniel Murphy, a home run, has given the Mets the lead here in the sixth inning. It is three to two, New York. Murphy's third hit of the game. And Just blocks from the Capitol building, we welcome you to Nationals Park, 300 mark to begin play. Well, it's still early in this season, but if he keeps this up, he's going to be looking to get paid in the offseason. His contract is up after this year. Miller is on the warning track. It's really his game. Anytime he keeps it on the ground, he's got a pretty good chance of beating out a hit. A screaming base hit here, his first of the night. with a triple and the first cycle in the history of the San Diego Pop With the skyline in front of us, a look at Citizens Bank Park here in Philadelphia. Chris Miller. The guy's on already. Now he's not in the strike zone to this hitter. He's got to reel it back in. Hold on now. That ball is down and could score a run. Long throw to the plate. And they're not going to get him. He's in there at the plate. Chris Miller early on. And the more the better as far as they're concerned. They'd like to get him out of here as quick as they can. High in the air and deep to left center field. Gone. A fence scraper, but still good for three runs. So a three-run shot to left center. Number 11 for him on the season. As they pile on, it's now six to nothing. Well. And he's a strike away from getting out of this unscored upon, but you can see the location mistake there. And now, all of a sudden, he goes from possibly hanging a goose egg to serving up a three-run home run. Miller will come up now in yet another big. It's three and one. He's set. Here's the three-one. Swing and a ball yanked down the right field line. And this is turning ugly now as this ball's down for extra bases. And the run is in to score from second. It's 7-0. Chris Miller will stand in as we'll flash you back to the second inning as you get a look at this key three-run home run. Corner, it's one and two. It's swung on and hit in the air. Irby on the move. And the run is in to score from third. Around third and being waved on home. And not in time as the second run scores. Boy, two the third base dugout. That's not the look of a guy who's going to be sleeping well tonight, is it? And that is through into center field, a base hit. And they'll extend their lead even further. Game is over. So a good offensive showing for these guys. But if we had to pick one player that stood out, that's our man right there. He's our tops player of the game. Home run. Well, you'd have to say he was instrumental in leading these guys to the victory. So that just about does it. For EK, Psycho, and the crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, get those smartphones and tablets out and head over to the show. Time for baseball on the show from the bank. Between the San Francisco Giants and the Philadelphia Phillies. Chris Miller. This can be a dangerous spot if you just groove one. And he looks oh, at ball four hey. now. So he's aboard, and you always have to worry Average about... Average up over the 290 mark to begin play. And he hit over 300 during the last month. Meanwhile, this ball is into right center, and that ought to be good enough for extra bases. Around third and being waved on home. And they're going to take a one nothing lead as the run comes across. Well, a single here could reduce the deficit to only one. In the air to straightaway right. Miller is back in plenty of time to put this away, however, and there are two gone. I think at first he... Ready. He's starting to lose location of that strike zone. He's got to throw... Oh, high, deep. That is a moonshot, folks. A long home run. So a three-run blast is straight away left. 12 home runs for him now thus far, as it is now 7-3. to three. Wow, he has proven to be a real nuisance in the first two games of this series. A home run in last night's ball game, and now another one here. Chris Jantz to pull the trigger on that one. It just got on him too fast. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. Around first on his way to second now. 
And he will stroll in there standing with a two-out double. There's no denying he's been swinging one of the hottest bats on the club, if not the entire league. And he comes through again with his second hit of the ball game. This one, for two bases, hasn't had the same success the rest of the guys have, but that could all with one swing. He makes a spectacular catch. What a way to end this one. Entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, don't forget to check out theshownation.com. The Phillies win this one. So long from Philly. Time for the ball game. Three hours and 26 minutes. A reminder that extra post-game SEPTA trains on the Orange Broad Street line. Daytime baseball from the home of the field. Lots of pink all around for this Mother's Day matchup between the San Francisco Giants. Miller will stand in and his guys have got high and deep to left center field. Irby going back on it. Still ranging back. Gone! So a three-run shot to left center, number 13 for him on the year, as the Phillies move out in front three to two. Well, it's got to be getting near the point where they need to make some alternate plans with this guy up there. Now that's his third home run in the series. I mean, what more do you need to see? in the air out to right Miller sprinting after it no trouble with this one Chris Miller swing line drive that's going to be trouble around third and being waved on home the relay throw and they'll get the man at third here at least but With the skyline in front of us, a look at Citizens Bank Park here in Philadelphia. Here unfavorably once he leaves the comforts of home. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Miller is there and he makes they try to get something going. And this whole lineup's been pretty quiet all game long. Just the one run. That's it. Miller moves to his right and puts the time for baseball on the show from the bank between the New York Mets and the Philadelphia Phillies the board yet so getting this leadoff man on base would be huge and this ball is crushed deep down the right field line and he's going to have room to put this one away and that's the first out Chris Miller and the pitch on two and one Hit in the air to right center field. This ball is carrying well. Back it goes, and it is out of here. Solo shot to right center. Number 14 on the season, and the Phillies grab a one to nothing lead. And about the only silver lining to this one from a defensive standpoint is the fact that it came with the bases empty leading off an inning. So you can survive it when this guy's hitting just solo shots. It's when he's doing his damage with two or three guys on base that things can really get out of hand in a hurry. Chris Miller. One and one, here it is. High in the air and deep to left center field. Mays ranging back, but he can't get it as it's off the wall. Around third and being waved on home. And he is in there. I think the praise here is when you're hot, you're hot. He's been on fire the last week or so. It's going to continue here as he drives this all the way out to the wall. It'll wind up an RBI triple. Liner toward right center. And that will get down as he delivers a big one here. It's a base hit. Chris Miller. Oh, high, deep. That is a moonshot, folks. A long home run. A 
two-run blast to straightaway right field, his second of the game, as it's now a six-run ball game. Well, it seems to me like we've seen this before. His second home run of the ball game, and it would seem to me that he hit that one harder than he did the last one, so he's definitely locked in. And, fellas, as always, a few guys we could have chosen from, but out of everybody, that's the man who really put his guys on his back and Our carried him to the victory. Tonight, first for the so Victorian that just about does it. For EK, Psycho, and the crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, get those smartphones and tablets out and head over to the Show Nation. From the city of brotherly love between the New York Mets and the Philadelphia Phillies. Chris Miller... Bounced softly in front of the plate. Going to be a tough play. And the yeah, inning is going to continue there. here. Chris Miller. Grounded to the right. A diving try, but he can't haul it in. It's through for a base hit. toward right center field. Friday night baseball on the show and we come your way from the Motor City of Detroit. The lead if he can come through here. Has to be thinking strikeout here. And here's a ball hit in the air. And he can't track it down. A base hit. The throw home. And it's there yeah. but it's dropped at the plate. And on the... Chris Miller. Oh, and he leaves the fastball up there. Mistake in location. He is going to pay for it dearly as that ball is sent over. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Home run number 16 for him on the year. And the lead is now 7-2. to two. This is just your classic fastball up over the heart of the plate. I don't even have to do a whole lot of analysis on this one. If you put that pitch there to this guy. Extra innings victory. Our final line score tonight, first for the victorious Philadelphia Phillies. Nine runs, 11 hits, two errors. They left seven men on base. For the tie. Afternoon baseball from the Motor City, Comerica Park here in downtown. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. Now a curveball that's yanked high and deep down the line in right. And he will get there to make the running play. And Chris Miller will get a shot here in a base. Obviously, you don't want to walk home a run. In there because he can bring in four with one swing. That gets down and the inning will continue. And he is in there. The run scores from second. It's a 2-0 ball game. Chris. He had things in control to start him out. So now he's running from 0-2 to 3-2, and, and that last one wasn't even close. Everybody in that lineup, that one swing could make up for a whole game's worth of struggle. Late on the fastball there is this one. To make a spectacular catch. Wow. Another look here. This ball's sinking fast, but he's on the full run, and he lays out to pull it in. That's well done there. Here, he's our tops player of the game. Yeah, you see a couple of hits for him in the ball game. This one was tight throughout, but in the end, he really helped lead his guys to this victory. So that'll just about do it for us this afternoon. Thanks to Eric Caro, Steve Lowe. Afternoon baseball for your viewing pleasure between the Philadelphia Phillies and the Detroit Tigers. Time now for a glance at the Phillies batting order in this one. Who are you focused on, EK? Well, guys, everybody should be looking out for that guy in the number three spot. Chris Miller will stand in for the first looking time. Looking to make it two in a row as they were winners last time out. And after the loss in the opener of the series, that was a much-needed win yesterday. So they can look to win this series and take two out of three if they can just take care of business here.
his ball club in hitting. So he's a guy that they really look to offensively. High and deep to straightaway right. Miller going back on it, but he can't get it as it's off the wall. And a climb. Chris, no. you're trying to get yourself into good hitters counts. This is just right down the middle on 2-0 and oh, and swing. Meanwhile here, this is going to be trouble out there in left center as it ought to be good for extra bases. And he'll cruise into the bag at second with a one-out double. Hit well on the ground to first. A dive, but he can't get it. It's through into the outfield. He'll come home with it. And the tag will be too late as they take the lead now. In Mike Trout fashion, able to go up and get it and take away a home run from Manny Machado. Yet another highlight film catch for Kevin Kiermeyer. After the Rangers took the lead. Statista with a drive. Deep left field. No doubt about it. 